Hi, I'm Suzanne Taylor, founder and president of the DISH Foundation. Our mission is to employ and educate individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I am so glad that you're here today for our first episode of Get DISH, where we're gonna showcase the abilities of some pretty awesome individuals. Did you know individuals with disabilities often stay in school until age 21, and after that, it's difficult for them to find gainful employment. That's why the DISH Foundation is going to open a cafe and kitchen that will predominantly employ those individuals. So sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and get comfy, because we've got some great stuff for you today. Today our contestants are baking some delicious pies, and then we have a set of judges who are going to taste it. I'd like to introduce those judges to you. First up, we have Philip Hensel, who is the Vice President of the Dish Foundation and a recent graduate of Western Washington University. Next up, we have Pilar Hari with Hagen Food and Pharmacy, who is also our food sponsor and episode sponsor, and we so appreciate the support and encouragement from Hagen. And last, we have Chris Roselli, AKA Mr. Western, who's the Director of Community Relations up at Western Washington University. And now, I'd like to introduce a good friend and co-host, Shauna Crovo, who will be introducing these awesome contestants to you today. Thank you, Suzanne, for the introduction. So I'm very excited today with us, our first contestant here at Station One. Uh, his name is Kellen. Kellen, say hello to everybody. Hello, hello. everyone. <laughs> Kellen is uh, very excited to be on here, and I'm very excited to hear what you're going to be cooking. Now, what is it that you're making? I'm going to be making a caramel apple pie. I chose that because I wanted to make apple pie, but I figured that's just that's just plain. I wanted to I think, think of something drastic. I agree. Caramel apple is not average. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm in seventh grade, and I am age um, 12. Um, I was diagnosed with ADHD when I was um, in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And um, well, even though I have ADHD, I am getting through it, man. That's fantastic. So I understand that you like to dance. Yes, dance and is one of my is my biggest hobby ever. Uh -huh. And also, I see working out. What kind of workouts do you do? I do full body workouts with my dad because I re we recently got an entire family membership um, at the Bellingham Athletic Club, uh -huh. and so it's so I get to work out with him, do full body workouts. He's in heaven, and whenever he works out with me, it's that's awesome. so great. Spending time with your dad, being healthy. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. Well, I'm very excited to see what you produce as everybody else is. Thank you. And on to our next contestant. Number two at station number two right here is Caden, um, also Suzanne's son. And of course, Suzanne being a good friend of mine, I've gotten to know Caden pretty well. And uh, yeah, we like eating snacks together. That's for sure. Um, Caden, what are you making for us today? I'm making a uh, apple, banana, blueberry, and popcorn pie. Hayden, that's a very unusual. I'm really actually intrigued to chase this. How did you come up with this combo? This is not what you normally would see in a pie. Well, I found it, it out with my mom. So you and your mom were scheming in the kitchen? Your mom gets some crazy ideas sometimes, doesn't she? Yeah. So have you made this before? No. Oh! <laughs> so Kaden, I don't know if you know this, but whenever I have company come over, I usually try to make it once before they eat it. But you know, you've been in the kitchen a lot. I have the utmost confidence that you are gonna nail this. I think it's gonna be really good, yeah. All right, well Kaden, I'm excited to see how this turns out. And come with me, we're gonna check out and introduce the third contestant, Miss Eva. Hello, Eva, welcome. Thank you for being here today. Are you excited to be here? Yeah. Yeah, are you a little bit nervous about cooking? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but do you cook at home quite a bit? Yeah, I cook at home. Awesome, so what are you making for us today? Uh, I'm making a um, raspberry pie. Raspberry pie, very delicious. I see some other berries there, though. Yeah, yeah, there are raspberries uh -huh. 
Uh, blackberry and blueberry. Raspberry, blackberry, blueberry. I don't think you can go wrong with that combo. That sounds really good. Do you have any neat plans of how you're going to decorate the top? Maybe? Oh, I'm going to decorate a heart. Oh, that'll be so pretty. And if you have to, like, like, um, kind of. Like with the, the crust? The, the, um, the knife kind of heart. Oh my gosh, that sounds really nice. Just like that intricate knife cut yeah, to yeah. make the heart. Yeah. That sounds very fancy. I'm excited about that. Well, Ms. Eva, I'm very excited to see what you also come up with. So thank you so much for being here today. And I guess let the baking begin. All right, guys, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Woo. We need to do that again. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, get it. Get it. Where do we put this one we're done? I'll put those in here. Look at those muscles. You're cranking it. You're getting your workout. Jenna, I cut myself. Uh, oh, we have a malfunction, Aiden. All-purpose flour, half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon. Teaspoon. Does Katie still have the salt? Oh, crap. Are you guys still using it? One and two. You are a caramel apple pie kind of guy. We should have had a panic button. Got one. My goal is to make my cooking better than my wife's cooking, so that would be an easier way for me to get for me to get a wife. What do you have in there? Apple, blueberry, and banana. I'm a little bit jealous of the judges that they get to taste all of this. Oh my god. All right, guys, time to put your filling in your pie and the topping on top. If you've got a top crust, go ahead and pop it on top. We're going to put it in the oven, and I cannot wait to see the deliciousness that comes out of the oven for the judges. I'll hold it, and then I can help guide them in. I think that four might be able to fit in each. Well, I'm super excited about the caramel apple pie. That sounds delicious. That looks pretty good. Uh huh. Pilar, what about you? I'm very interested in the uh, chocolate banana blueberry. What was that? Apple. Apple, yeah. thank you. Uh, but the raspberry, the berry pie is exciting to me. <laughs> and Philip, what about you? Is there a pie you've been eyeballing? Well, certainly what Caden's making is looks very exciting and I am very much looking forward to that but our friend over there making with the raspberries and uh, blueberries those are my two favorites so that's the one I'm really holding out for. That three berry pie looks pretty delicious too so there's there's gonna be an award for most creative yes best presentation and then what's the third one? Best use of flavors. That's right. And so that will tie into when Suzanne took everybody grocery shopping and they got to run around and pick their ingredients. That was really the moment that you got to hear for the first time what they were going to be doing. Hagen Food and Pharmacy was so great and generous. They gave us the gift cards to buy the food for. So they're our food sponsor for these Get Dished cooking shows. And they're also today's sponsor as well. And we also have so many other people that have helped us out. And yes, yeah. Bellingham Grip donated uh, some of the equipment that we're using here today. And then of course, the people that make us look good. Yeah. Our media sponsor, IAJ Media, yeah. are doing a fantastic job and uh, they are our media sponsor for all of the shows. And also our friends at Laser Point, they yeah. were very, very lovely and they not only made the plaques for the trophies, uh, but they gave it to us for free. They donated it to the foundation. So now these are going in the oven. Yes, we're almost yes. ready. Let's get I'm really baked. excited. Let's to, get this. I want to start smelling like the smells in this room of all I know, this. It'll so. be good. Wow, if you guys were here in person, your mouths would be watering because those pies just came out of the oven and they smell delicious. So let's take them over to the judges and see what they think. <laughs> I get to be first. 
Smells delicious. I like the crust on the top. The crust is definitely flaky. Mm. Looks really good. The coloring is perfect. Uh -huh. I am nice super crisp. excited. It's like a perfect crust. Okay, try it. Don't worry. The suspense sure is right. killing me too. I can't wait. Mm. Gotta get that perfect bite. Mm. You know? mm -hmm. mm. Well, we've got Chris's head nodding, and he's saying, "Mm-hmm." Yeah, mm -hmm. it's um. Mm -hmm. I'm going in for a second bite. All right, we're going for a second. It's uh, it's not too sweet. You got the tang of the of the berries, which is really yeah, yummy. Yeah, it's very yeah, good. The balance is, mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. yeah, Thank you. I'm better than I could have imagined, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. Very, very mm, yum. Thank you. I'm going in for a third bite. I just mm. had a really excellent bite of all of the flavors together, and it was perfection. What a wonderful blend. Mm -hmm. Would it be? Rude if I lick the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not on TV. Eva, it was a very good pie. I loved the balance of the tanginess of the berries with the sweetness of the crust on top. It was very, very good. Thank you. I agree completely. The balance was perfection and the crust was heavenly. Well, what stuck out to me the most was that when you go to eat a berry pie, you, you expect that burst of flavor, and it was all there. Thank you. Delicious. Well done. Well Thank done. you. Again, first. Thank you. Thank you. We have a caramel apple pie. I decided to go with um, caramel apple because I really like apple pie. It's my favorite, but I was just like, but I wanted to do something drastic. Mm. Well, it's beautiful. I can't wait. Yeah, I like how. Definitely. I like the the minute the, the little strips of crust instead of one full crust over the top. Oh, you guys look. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. that's gonna be. You know that's gonna be gooey. Okay. Mm. I'm in. Mm. We have the best jobs. <laughs> I have caramel everywhere. <laughs> I can certainly smell and definitely taste the apple. Mm. And then the caramel, it's, uh, it's gotten very sticky in the oven, which makes it really great because it stays in your mouth, which complements the apple as you're eating it. I love the way that it's presented and the apple bits, the way you cut them are, is perfect. It's a perfect bite size. And I also, I don't know about you, but I got a nice piece of caramelization of the caramel. Oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. And that was, that was perfection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really, mm. I really enjoy the the cinnamon mm. Mm. and with the apple. I mean, this is what you what you expect, and then exceed what you when you have an apple pie. I mean, the texture of the apples is just right, and combined with the the, the right gooiness of the caramel is, mm, I love it. All right, judges, get that last bite in. We are going to give you your third and final pie now. And it's the one that has a variety of flavors. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Kellen, that's really good, dude. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. God. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. This is incredible looking. All right, Caden, fill me in, man. What we got in here? This is amazing. No, we have a apple, banana, chocolate, and blueberry in the pie. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I've been, I've been most curious about this one, mm -hmm. and I'm excited to try it. Absolutely. Fantastic. There are a lot of flavors in there. Definitely bursting. You taste mm -hmm. the chocolate and the banana, always one of my favorite combinations, mm -hmm. by the way. And the berries add that zing and zest. Wow, oh, great job. <laughs> it's a combination I would not have thought to put together, mm -hmm. but I'm actually really excited about it and I'm glad to have tried it and I love it. The flavors are very mm -hmm. complimentary. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely smell the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And it's dark chocolate, even better. Mm. 
All right, judges, you have a tough decision coming up now. After trying all three pies, you guys are gonna choose which awards each contestant gets. Now remember, there's best use of flavors, most creative, and best presentation. So we'll give you a few minutes to deliberate, and then we'll check back in with you. All right, judges, you had a tough decision. Did you come to a conclusion? We have. All right, let's hear it. All right, we are really excited to announce that for creative presentation, best creative is Kaden. <gasps> and next we have for best presentation, Kellen. Such a great job, Kellen. You should be really proud of yourself. It's pretty I'm really proud exciting. Of myself. I'm really proud of myself. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're so welcome. Oh my gosh. We're so happy to have you here. And for best use, use of flavor, we have Eva. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Let's face it, 2020 has been a rough year, but if you look hard enough, you can find a lot of good out there. Be the good, see the good, look for the good. The Dish Foundation is so excited to bring you more episodes. So if you wanna see more of this, consider donating by going to dishfoundation.net. Dish Foundation stands for dignity. Independence. Yes, uh, purpose. Hope. Get dish!